that one was supposed to be just a joke within the series. Then everybody started calling me Maito. So I need to repeat one more time. I didn't choose Maito, Maito chose me. <laughs> so the Maito persona is, is a very loud, larger to life perspective. But innately, that is me lah. Yeah, but you have to know me better, you have to know me well on a certain level. Lah. It's not generically when you meet me for the first time, I'm asking a lot of business things. Lah. Hey, why they do this like that? Lah? Like, why you do all this like that? Lah? Why you don't want to explore like that? Lah? See, if you meet me for the first time, I'm a businessman, which is coming. I'm, I'm right in the middle. Lah. I'm right in the middle. A lot of comments that I read, right, they will say, I would just prefer the cash. Lah. Why you give, give me the watch? But, Cash is something that once you give, you spend, you won't remember. But the first Rolex, right, is very impactful for anybody. Like, I'm still wearing my first one. Wherever you, you touch and hold and wear that watch, right, you remember what you have been through to get there. And Rolex generally retains value. So next time, if they really run into some situations where they need money, right, they can still sell their Rolex. So I cater for the memory sake and I cater for their rainy days. So I think it's a meaningful thing. Lah. I have a printing business, media business and an interior business. I recently did a movie with Jack. I mean, just a small role called Money Not Enough. I'm also preparing my own movie. A day in my life would be like, so then I wake up, wash up, I'll go for my meetings. So you normally be meetings, meeting, 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 then uh, on days where I have time, I'll be back around 7 to spend time with my son. But if I really cannot, it will be a dinner appointment. By the time I get back, it will be 9 plus 10. Yeah, then I will start my administrative work, my scripts, etc. By the time I end, it will be 5, 6 a.m. Yeah, that's why I can only sleep for 5 hours and wake up at 10. Tired lah. <laughs> at some point, I will totally uh, block out 1, 2 days to rest is when. In between meetings, right, my brain suddenly fog. Yeah, it will just suddenly fog out and I cannot process very, very simple things. That's where I know my body is at sleep. I definitely will cast myself and go to Hollywood. I, I don't know, it's just a trait that I have since young. You know? So like, if you ask me to retire, I also think I cannot. Yeah, at some point, I will just backside itchy on to do something. Right? In 2019, I started my media company, Dabat Media. I know very clearly at that point, there wasn't many people doing Chinese content. In fact, there was zero. La. I listen to Chinese music, I watch uh, Taiwan stuff, China stuff, and Singapore side. There's just nobody pushing for that. La. Yeah, and I feel that like it's important, la, as in, it's my heritage. La. Eventually, when I did comedy, I, I think that it's very helpful because during my most devastated state, right, I watch a lot of comedy videos to come out of it. Yeah. So I think comedy is helpful in a sense that you make people... Sometimes you just make people day with that one video. Yeah, and I think it means a lot. Lah. It really means a lot. We set out to achieve a movie when we started this company. Jack Neal started with uh, Jack, Mark, Henry, Pat Mock. He just brought a bunch of people who's not very good looking <laughs> and but funny onto the big screen. It worked. And this formula has been working out for 20 plus years. I'm also bringing a bunch of people who is not very good looking, <laughs> including myself, but we can be funny. I think we grew up watching a lot of Jack Neal. Some people may not like it, some people may like it. It's still part of our Singapore movie identity and culture. And I think there should be a next generation to succeed that. I want to be that person. <laughs>